Over 40,000 fans worldwide will descend on Qatar to watch the best football players compete in the biggest sporting event of the year, the FIFA World Cup 2022. While many of those fans will be staying in luxurious hotels and enjoying other amenities of the host country, thousands more will be watching the games in Stadium 974. Watch this video to find out why this stadium was chosen to host the tournament, and what you can expect from the stadium's design and construction process. 1. State of the art for its size The first reason why Stadium 974 is the perfect place for the 2022 FIFA World Cup is that it's a state of the art stadium for its size. Not only is it 450,000 square meters in size, but it has cooling technology that prevents the temperature from reaching over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has an automated irrigation system to keep turf healthy and green year-round. Additionally, the stadium can be disassembled and reassembled in just one day. What's more, the stadium can accommodate up to 40,000 people, with seating arrangements for VIPs and media personnel and accommodations for press areas. This means that not only will this be a world-class venue for the event, but it will also provide hospitality services for anyone who attends. 2. Has a modular design With a modular design, the stadium can be easily disassembled and reassembled in a new location. This is perfect for an event like the World Cup that moves around every four years. Plus, the containers can be repurposed after the event, making this a sustainable option. The modular design also allows for sections of the stadium to be built incrementally as funds are available. Since the size of each container correlates to a specific area, such as seating, the construction process will go much quicker because there's no need to wait for all containers before starting on other sites. Moreover, having separate components means multiple projects can take place simultaneously. 3. Colorful and Innovative Design Stadium 974 also has a colorful design consistent with the rest of the country. There are three levels of seating, and each row of seats is offset from the row in front of it, which allows more space for spectators. Qatar's population comprises 2% foreigners, so this innovative design will make them feel at home. The stadium will hold 40,000 people, making it the perfect size for Qatar's tiny population and still have room to spare. This factor primarily contributed to Qatar being chosen as the host nation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It was clear that Qatar was prepared for the event long before it was awarded to them, and that they would do their best to provide world-class accommodations to those who come out in support of their team. 4. Viewers Love It one of the best things about the new Ras Abu Abud Stadium is that it will be made entirely from shipping containers. This is a unique and eco-friendly way to build a stadium, and viewers love it. It's been noted by those who attended the previous two matches at this venue that fans were given some of the best views in any stadium in Qatar. It's also relatively inexpensive to make these stadiums from shipping containers, which makes them perfect for developing countries, while they're also easy to transport between countries should one country not want them after the games. Furthermore, their mobility gives organizations more flexibility when designing their buildings. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing, as we frequently upload informative and educational videos. Let's continue. 5. Accessible Venue Another reason the World Cup will be held in a shipping container stadium is that it is accessible to everyone. All the stadiums are located on Doha's public transportation routes, which makes it easy for fans to travel and get to the games. Some buses offer transfers from significant hotels all the way to stadiums and shuttle services around different parts of the city. One more way they have made it easier for people to get around is by providing Google Maps with GPS coordinates of each stadium, so visitors can easily find their destination. When visiting these stadiums, it is essential to know about the culture of Qatar. Alcohol is not allowed within 100 meters of any stadium or surrounding areas, and women should dress modestly when attending any event at one of these venues. There are no exceptions to this rule. Anyone who dresses inappropriately may be asked to leave the premises and fined if they do not comply. 6. Safe and Secure the safety and security of the guests are always top priorities. Qatar has made it a point to ensure that this stadium will be secure and safe for the World Cup. One must go through two checkpoints before entering the stadium. First, there's a checkpoint for cars, then another for people on foot. Once inside, there are cameras in every corner and armed guards at every entrance to ensure no unwanted visitors get inside. Each guest will have their ID checked at least four times before they enter the stadium. On top of that, all employees around the area are trained in counter-terrorism tactics, and everyone who works within the facility undergoes periodic background checks. It may seem like overkill, but Qatar wants to ensure they've done everything possible to keep all their guests safe. 
7. Demonstrate new possibilities. Qatar Stadium 974 demonstrates new possibilities for sustainable design, potentially changing the way stadiums are built in the future. There is a greater focus on creating a more environmentally friendly and sustainable event than in past years. In addition, the environmental impact of shipping containers, as they are modular and can be stacked up together, can be easily dismantled afterward and either reused or recycled. Another factor that makes this an ideal location for the World Cup is that it will enable fans from around the world to come together during this once-in-a-lifetime event, while at the same time showcasing how modern technology can be used to help developing countries. 8. A symbol of sustainability Qatar Stadium 976 also acts as a symbol of sustainability. It will be the world's first ever zero-carbon, climate-neutral stadium powered by solar panels and wind turbines. It has a planned lifespan of around 100 years and a modular design that allows for expansion. If future generations want to add seats or an upper tier, they can do so without disrupting the foundation's integrity. Given the recent controversy surrounding Qatar's tournament hosting, this venue is a breath of fresh air with some environmentalist credibility. To say the least, Qatar does have many of its own problems, but this country has been known to make groundbreaking advancements in sustainable energy technology. The new stadium plans are just one more example of how this country is working towards becoming cleaner and greener while supporting its booming population. 9. It's a round of 16 venue. Qatar Stadium 974 is also known to be a round of 16 venues. This means that it will have one less game than the other stadiums, meaning that the team hosting the quarterfinals in this stadium will get an easier draw than they would if they were at a different location with more games. The heat and humidity will not affect the game. The intense heat and humidity won't pose as much of an issue for these matches, as it is a closed-off environment that prevents hot air from being displaced by cooler air. The Ras Abu Abud Stadium in Doha, Qatar is an excellent choice to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It is a unique modern stadium that will wow spectators and players. It is also a sustainable and eco-friendly option that will help reduce the event's carbon footprint. More importantly, it is a safe and secure venue that will ensure the safety of all those involved. What do you think about Qatar's Stadium 974? Please share your views with us in the comments section below. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Matewell Finder so that we can keep making such fantastic videos for you. Thank you for watching.